Hey, Eric Levy here. You can watch my YouTube vlog in where sentimental thoughts come from the heart and also my mental eyeball shenanigans come from the brain. It's EML77 TV. It's episode 634, um, May the 27th, 2020, 10 18 p.m. That's right. Well, let's say about 18 minutes ago, I finished watching three shows and trying to watch. I don't have a DVR and or a picture in picture, but trying to flip between Ultimate Tag. AEW Dynamite and WWE NXT. It's a very tough day in the... It's a very tough night, I should say. Wednesday night will be the toughest nights ever to watch TV. So, um, I gotta say, you know, all three shows, you know, I'm flipping back and forth. They had um, Io Shirai and Ray Ripley on NXT teaming up against Charlotte Flair and a mystery partner, and that mystery partner will have to be Chelsea Green, which, if Robert Stone decides to manage Charlotte Flair... And looking at Robert Stone causing a lot of trouble in NXT and possibly in WWE. You never know what's going to happen. But AEW, i got to talk about um, Ultimate Tag was pretty cool. The Iron Giantist and Atomic Ant are pretty cute, cute female taggers. I'll let them tag me any day of the week. That's my thoughts on Ultimate Tag. But i got to come about AEW Dynamite for just a second. I was watching towards the end. The Inner Circle's having their own pep rally. And Vicky Guerrero, oh, good Lord. Ha! <laughs> oh, Vicky Guerrero. You know, she would be the perfect perfect role for Rita Repulsa in a Power Rangers reboot. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. It was so funny. When they had the, the name tag at the bottom, you know, and uh, it says, get your earplugs ready. <laughs> Top of that one. I'm laughing so hard. It was great. And usually... <laughs> It was the funniest thing in the world, man. It is the funniest thing in the world. But I also want to give a shout-out to Mauro Ranallo. He acknowledged what happened to Hana Kimura and made made um, cyberbullying uh, awareness. And uh, I am so glad that uh, Mauro Ranallo did that. He was a very classy guy. He's always an admirer of uh, Joshi um, Wrestling and, uh, you know, and, and just in doing that, you know, during Io Shirai's entrance, I think it'll help everybody who was watching on that match. And so Mauro Ronaldo, class uh, class act all the way, and I'm so happy to, uh, and I'm so happy he decided to do that. It's very important. And uh, so I think it's a lot of respect there. Uh, but I want to talk about um, the, the big elephant in the room, so to speak, the biggest thing ever. As the Inner Circle was celebrating their little pep rally, even though they lost to the Elite in the uh, Stadium Stampede matchup, which is still, which is a few, I left a few things out, like how Ortiz's bell was wrong. It was hilarious, literally. It was funny. <laughs> that was the funniest moment ever. But then Sammy Guevara asked him, hey, what do you want? He goes, I want Mike Tyson's head on a silver platter. I'm like... Did Jericho just say he wants Mike Tyson's head on a silver platter? Good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, he wants to fight Tyson. Is Jericho crazy? He wants Mike Tyson? I mean, Mike Tyson was getting himself back into fighting shape. And then I found out that Tyson Fury wants to fight Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's like, what, five foot nine? And Tyson Fury's like six foot eight. What? Oh my God! Jericho wants to fight Mike Tyson. Jericho wants to fight Mike Tyson. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. And I'm like, it, it just, it just blows my mind. I mean, <laughs> you know, if, if Jericho stepped in the ring with Tyson, Tyson's gonna make Jericho give himself a new nickname, Little Mac. That's how. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, Jericho and Tyson. Tyson is going to waste Jericho. I mean, I'm sorry, man. You know, Jericho crazy, he wants Mike Tyson. Jericho has got to be out of his dang mind if he wants to fight Mike Tyson. I mean, Chris Jericho has got to be the craziest person ever. You know, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Did he take some crazy pills this morning or something like that? I don't know. It's just... Uh, I'm just... Uh, I'm... I, <laughs> you know, I'm just, uh, <laughs> am very, very shocked. 
Yeah. And, uh, And it was the funniest thing, and it was the funniest thing in the world, man. And I am very, very shocked. Just you know, I'm very, very shocked that you know, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson, my Chris Jericho wants to fight Mike Tyson. I mean, you got to be seriously kidding me on this one. I'm like. <laughs> I mean, you seriously, I mean, my, Jericho, Chris Jericho, yeah, listen to me, man, I know, I mean, you can make all the mom's basement jokes you want, but let me tell you something, Mike Tyson, you step in the ring with him, he's gonna light you up like a Christmas tree, dude, and I'm serious, and they, you know, so, leave all your light bright jackets at home, because Tyson will light you up like a Christmas tree, he says he hasn't forgotten what Tyson did to him back in January 11, 2010, uh, I know you've never forgotten, neither do we, I mean, we saw it start happening on Monday Night Raw. He knocked you completely out after he betrayed you. I mean, Jericho, you were complaining too much, and somebody had to shut you up, and it was Mike Tyson that did, did it. All you do is, you want a kind of shot? You wanted this? You wanted that? Wah, 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 wah. You cry and whine and everything else, man, and you run your mouth. Guess what? You know, dude, Mike Tyson's the whammy, and you, Jericho, are pressing your luck. I'll tell you one thing right now. Four punches from Tyson, you're out. That's that's all I'm going to say on that matter, Jericho. I cannot believe you decided that you want Mike Tyson's head on a silver platter. Dude, you got to realize, you got to think about, you got, you got a family of your own, bro. I mean, come on. And you know, you got your, wife, your wife must be like, did my husband just say he wants to fight Mike Tyson? I mean, Mrs. Jericho, you got to talk to your husband. You got to tell him, hey, it's not worth it, dude. Ten years of holding a grudge for ten years in another, from another company? Come on, dude. Ah, uh, that, that's what cracked me up. <laughs> that was the most entertaining thought. I mean, Chris Jericho, um, you know, Chris Jericho <laughs> wanting to fight Mike Tyson. I'm like, Tyson is going, you know, you know, you know what's going to happen? Jericho is going to get himself knocked out. He's going to get himself knocked out. I mean, freaking dead serious on this. He's going to get himself. Knocked out. I mean, wham! A right hand from Tyson Jericho's gonna be out like a light. <laughs> and or you know, better yet, you talk about social distancing, and, and the whole thing um, broke down to a brawl because Mike Tyson's got like ten of his people inside that ring there against the Inner Circle's five. I'm like, the Inner Circle's gonna get themselves clobbered if they don't get out of that ring fast. And it turned to a fight, and then. AEW officials came out. Cody was out. All the wrestlers, the wrestlers came out, and oh my gosh, it was a, it was a brew bru, bru, It was bowling shoe ugly, as Jim Ross would call it at one point. I mean, it was crazy. I'm like, is Jericho? I'm like, Jericho has got to be out of his dang mind doing this. I mean, you've got, he's got to be the craziest person I know. God bless Jericho, man. You know, I love Jericho. He's very entertaining. He's a very funny dude. But dude. You're uh, overstepping your boundaries here. You, you know, you're like a contestant with three whammies. You're pressing your luck, Jericho. And with Tyson could be the fourth whammy, and then that's it for you, my friend. And believe me, you know, I'm glad that Jericho, if Jericho is still signed with the WWE, he's probably going to get one of these, you know, the 24-7 championship, which is now held by Rob Kronkowski. And that's another thing I don't address. Rob Kronkowski, I'll tell you, you are a traitor, Rob Kronkowski. You turned against the Patriots, man, and the Patriots Nation. I hope our truth beat, finds you and beats you to get this title back from you, man, because that's where it belongs. You're going back to the NFL? You're going to play football again? Well, guess what? You don't need a 24-7 title, baby, because I'll tell you one thing. Rob Kronkowski, you're going to get beat by our truth and once our truth beats you, one, two, three, our truth will be once again another reigning 24-7 champion, probably for the 30th time or something like that. He's held, probably held this title more times than Flair has held the World Heavyweight title. That's impressive for our truth And I like this title. It's a good title. But, you know, ha! I just can't believe Jericho wants to fight Tyson. Jericho wants to fight Tyson. I don't know if you can believe it. I can't believe it either. You know? Jericho wants to fight Tyson. You know, Jer the chances of Jericho fight, uh, beating Tyson in a match... It'd be like the chances of me um, getting a girlfriend. Not at all, because I think Mike, oh, Mike Tyson probably does, knows some, a little bit of wrestling skills, 
But I'll tell you one thing. He knows some serious boxing skills, and boxing's part of wrestling, because all the, all Tyson's got to do is one right hand, boom, Jericho will be out like a light. Once again, it'll be a repeat from what happened 10 years ago, Jericho. Trust me on this one. Jericho is going to get knocked out, and that's what I'm, that's what my take on, on I have to uh, talk about the t- Jericho, Ty- Jericho Tyson feud. Is it going to happen? Jericho versus Tyson. If it's so, when? Uh, if they do it on Dynamite, it's got to bring in ratings, man. Because I'll tell you one thing right now, it's going to be crazy, to say the least, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I can tell you that. It's <laughs> Jericho and Tyson, man. Jericho and Tyson. That's all i got to say is Jericho and Tyson. Oh, boy. But, uh, you know, good luck with that, Jericho. And then you got Tyson Fury wanting to fight Tyson. I know, like Tyson Fury's about six foot eight, And Tyson's like, what, five foot nine or something like that? How's that match going to happen? Tyson could easily duck and just hit him in the nuts and be disqualified. I don't care. Just <laughs> oh, boy. Things are crazy nowadays, and uh, I love it. You know? I, I love you know I love I love watching wrestling because it gets crazier and crazier and crazier, you know. But Wednesdays will be the toughest night. Wednesday nights will be the toughest nights to watch because you have Ultimate Tag, which I started to enjoy a little bit. Um, I um, AEW Dynamite and WWE NXT they had a huge fight pit match, and Matt Riddle knocked out some of Timothy Thatcher's teeth. Literally, I'm, Timothy Thatcher literally picking up his own teeth. Kurt Angle and, and Timothy Thatcher won the match, by the way. And it's good. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, Jericho versus Tyson. I can't believe it. Jericho versus Tyson. What's going to happen? I don't know. For all you AEW fans out there, watch and see. Oh, the Revival also made their debut on AEW as well, I found out. So I'm going to try, let's say I want to watch AEW on another uh, streaming site, and I'm going to do that and uh, see what's going on there, all right? This hair, I need, this hair needs a cut pretty soon. Uh, i got to get a haircut somehow. So that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. So um, <laughs> we're going to have a little bit of fun. All right, then. Um, I'll see you guys later. Um, this, is, um, this is all we're going to have um, for today. I'll see you guys in episode 635. Hopefully I'll play. Hopefully I'll bust out the Wii, uh, Nintendo Wii like I did in the last episode. Play some Pressure Luck. I'm gonna do it again. I'm probably gonna play some Pressure Luck until the season, se- second season premiere on ABC this Sunday, 9 8 Central. Check your local listings for, for uh, for your local channel for ABC because I think I'm looking forward to it, as is all the Pressure Luck fans out there. All right, this Jericho versus Tyson. Can't believe it, you know. As I keep mentioning Jericho versus Tyson, I'm mentioning Carol Baskin. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> All right. <laughs> and speaking of which, I think Von Baskin stopped commenting on my videos, or was he making look like the Tiger King of YouTube? <laughs> oh, I'm just playing with you, man. I'm having a lot of fun. All right, Tyson versus Jericho. Oh, unbelievable. Jericho wants Tyson. He's nuts. All right, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, but guys, have a wonderful night, and uh, I'll see you in episode 635. Bye.